Hi, I'm Dan Leaney from XWatch. Today we're here with Explore Plant and Transport Solutions. We're going to be running through the XWatch safety systems that they have fitted to their machines. As part of your daily check, before you even start the machine, it's always advisable just to do a visual inspection of our XWatch safety system. We will start at the front of the machine with the boom sensor. The boom sensor is generally hidden behind pipes or in very visible. Just check the cables, make sure there's no visible damage, there's no cables hanging down, and it all looks good. Then you move on around the corner to the arm sensor. Again, a visible check. The sensor is always going to be on the right hand side of the machine on this articulation. Visible check, just make sure it all looks good and it's all looking fine. Then we move down to the front of the machine onto the slew index post, which you'll see, make sure there is no mud around the machine, mud around the slew area, any visible damage to this post or the cable that goes to the sensor. You then come round to the back of the machine and if possible, you will know where the override key switch is. It's generally behind a panel or a door towards the back of the cab. This is what you're looking for. The key in the upright position is means the safety system is on and working. If you come to the machine and you see the key turned across, so as per the diagram, the system is in recovery or override mode. Find out why this has happened. Why is it is an override? Is the system in operational or has it got a defect registered against it? Just to reiterate, the system must be in the working position. Now we've moved inside of the cab and I'm about to show you how to do the various settings that come with the XW5 solution. When you first start up an XW5, you'll see the system counting up. You are now, the system is now checked and you're now confirming that the RCI is in operation mode. This is the home screen that you see for the first time. At quick glance, you can see a lot of things. These are the height limit and the slew limit. Green is go, and when we set a limit, it will go to red, red is dead. You're in RCI function from the start. So if you want to go into dig mode, you hit dig, and then you are digging. To come out of dig mode, you press escape. We will come back to that feature later on. To set a height limit, you press height, you want to turn it on and you want to set it. Then you come to this screen. There's two ways of setting it. We can raise the arm up to its, the limit you need and press here. On this occasion, we'll enter the numbers. We want four and a half meters. So we've got the four, we raise the number to five, zero, and we lower it down. We now have four and a half minute meters and we press OK. The limit is now set back to the home screen and you will see that the limit has gone to red. Red is dead, red is a limit set. When I move the arm up, you will see the numbers change as we come up and then as we get to the limit, it will motion cut and stop. The highest point you're saying is the ram, arm ram on the arm, which we also call the dipper. So as the arm goes down, we go back into normal operation. We can come up again and it will change into the limit and go down. So you finish with the height limit and we want to turn it off. You press height again and you press off. Back to the RCI home screen, green is go. The limit has gone away, it's that easy to set, and then we can go through the limit as much as you want. The other alternate way of setting the height limit, as I've said, you press height, you turn it on, you press set, you now got the previous entered limit, or if you want to change it but not mess around with the numbers, you can use the here button. Raise the arm of the equipment to where you want to be, you see the current height has gone past 4.5, you just press here. 
you have now set the limit. As you drop it down, it goes away from the limit, go to the home screen, red is dead. So you can lift the arm up and it will go to the limit you set with the here button. There you go. And then down again. You'll see the max limit is 4.79 metres. Let me show you how to use the dig function. A feature we touched on earlier is the XW series dig mode. This takes the RCI out of the equation for excavation with the machine. So to put it in dig mode, just press dig and you have the ability to dig all day long. A little feature we put in here is the ability just to zero your bucket so you know when you are at approximate depth at any one time. So if you want to go down to 1 meter 90, you're there. Then you can just zero it again and you know you have your depth. To turn it out of dig mode, just press escape and the RCI is turned back on for lifting operations. Welcome to the inside of the cab. Let me show you how to set the slew function. To set a slew limit, you press slew. You want to turn it on. You have two choices, virtual wall or angular. For this one, we'll go angle and then set. It says move to the, lift, to the left. So you move your machine to where you want to be. You then press set. You move to the right where you want to be you press set then you can go back to the home screen red is dead the slew limit is set to turn the slew limit off you press slew and then off back to the home screen green is go slew limit has gone away to set the second option, you press slew, turn it on. This time we go virtual wall. As you can see, you've got a little bit more information. You press set. Again, you can turn to the machine or we can set three meters, three and a half meters from the baseline. So we're setting the left-hand limit. Then you press OK. So you'll see the left hand limit is three and a half meters. Now we need to set the right hand limit. So you press set, you press side, it sets the right hand, then we do the same adjustment. And then press OK. Both limits, you go to the home screen, the slew limit, red is dead. So the slew limits are set. To turn it off again, press slew, press off, back to the home screen, green is go, green is safe. To set the limits with the here functionality, you press slew, on, virtual wall, set, setting the slew limit, so you want to move the machine to where you want to be. We're 1.4 metres from the centre line. You press here. As you see, 1.4 metres. You want to set the right-hand side. You press set. Side. We're in the right-hand side. Move it back to where you want it to be on the right-hand side. RCI screen, you now have red is dead and a slew limits is set. Same procedure to turn it off, slew, off.